In this section, I will talk about machine setup procedure and welding steps. Double check if you have put on all the required PPEs before welding. And make sure you have all the needed tools with you. To start welding, place the workpiece in the position where you will feel comfortable. Lean into the work and brace yourself properly to take the stress off your welding hand. Set the voltage accordingly, based on the material used in welding position. For example, Welding steel in a horizontal position with 0.045 inch E71T wire, requires voltage ranging from 20 to 22.5 volts. In this movie, we are welding in the horizontal position, and the voltage is set at 22.5 volts. Check the gas flow, make sure it is set to 30 to 40 cubic feet per hour. Check to see if your welding gun feeds by pressing on the trigger. Snip off any excess wire from the tip of your gun. And lastly, put on your welding helmet. The following are the steps to weld from the root bead to a half inch weld. In a vertical weld, you work from the bottom of the joint to the top. Strike an arc at the bottom of the joint. Begin traveling upward by weaving the tip of the gun about 1 8 inch from side to side pausing slightly on each side of the plate. Watch the puddle. The base metal will melt first, then the molten filler metal from the wire will start to fill in. As soon as the indent fills, quickly move straight across to the other side. Always weld ahead of the puddle. Your root bead should have even legs of a quarter inch. Now I will show you how to step up from a quarter of an inch weld to a three-eighth of an inch weld. Before starting to weld, place your 3 8 inch fillet gauge over the existing root bead. Visualize the gap that you need to fill. With the vertical fillet joint, you have the option to only weld one additional bead. This second bead must completely fill the gap you saw when you visualized the weld. Hold the welding gun at about 45 degrees. Continue to travel up the plate, weaving the tip of the welding gun from side to side until the entire joint is welded. Remember to chip the slag after you finish welding the bead. Now I will show you how to step up from a 3 8 of an inch weld to a half inch weld. As always, visualize how you should weld the next layer to reach the half inch requirement. This layer consists of two beads. Each bead should overlap about half of the existing weld. This is accomplished by weaving the tip of the gun from the toe of the existing bead to about the middle of the existing bead. Depending on which side of the plate, adjust the angle accordingly. Like most vertical welds, pause slightly on both sides of the bead to ensure proper penetration. As you travel, be sure to consistently stop in the same place in the middle and side of the bead in order to produce a straight and consistent overlapped bead. Start the second bead on the other side of the plate. Cover the first bead about halfway. Continue until the entire joint is welded. Remember to chip the slag after each bead. After completing a weld, check the weld size with the corresponding fillet gauge for the entire length of the weld. Let's start with checking the size of the top toe. Here we are checking the size of the top toe. Then, flip the fillet gauge to measure the bottom toe along the entire length. In this movie, the weld size is 5 8 of an inch, and the fillet gauge is also 5 8 of an inch. The perfect weld size is therefore exactly 5 8 of an inch. The weld size is acceptable if it is an eighth of an inch bigger than the specified size. If the weld size is smaller than the specified size, it is not acceptable. Make sure the entire length of the weld is within the acceptable range. Here is the summary of the welding procedure for the vertical fillet weld. 1. Place workpiece in the vertical position. 2. Set the voltage accordingly, based on the material used, and the welding position. 3. Check the gas flow. 4. Check if the gun is feeding at the specified rate. 5. Snip off any excess YER. 6. Put the welding shield on. 7. Use the fillet gauge to visualize the weld. 8. 
position the gun at 45 degree to the plate and place the root bead. 9. Chip off the slag on the weld. 10. Visualize where the next bead should go using the fillet gauge. 11. Position the gun at the correct angle and weld the next two layers. Remember to chip off the slag after each bead, and visualize where the next bead should go. 12. Visually inspect each bead for imperfection. 13. Practice more until weld beads are straight, consistently overlapped, smoothly blended, and have even legs. Remember to turn off the machine whenever you take a break.